In this next section, we're going to show you something we call the out and back turn. Now this movement is something pulled directly from a historical piece of footage called the spirit moves. And uh, we hope that you'll like it. It's a very leadable social move. And it looks like this. We're going to go into a lunge. We're going to send our partner out. And just as she comes back, you're going to catch and go into a tuck turn and back on the other side. Okay? So lots of movement, lots of spins for the follow. And it's going to follow the patterns that we already know. So there's not a whole lot of new things. We're just going to put them together in a different way. So let's begin with a uh, lunge. Okay? So any entrance into our one, two, step. Okay? I'm going to send my follow out for four counts. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to bring her back in for one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now normally, I would close this up and we go back into our closed position. But here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand up as we step into that. Uh, and it's going to become the beginning of a tuck turn. So we tuck turn, and then we come out the other side, rock, step, step, step. Okay. Now that all happened really quickly, so let's, uh, let's show it again. And uh, let's begin from the out position of the turn. So whatever happened, you just did a lunge, and you're in this outward position. Okay. Basically, the idea is we're going to bring her in. One, two, three. Now, instead of closing this up and finishing the move like we did in the first pattern, what I'm going to do is step out of the way, catch her hand. Now, this is going to become the pushing. Remember that part of the tuck turn where we pushed in the fingers? and I'm going to send her out again, out. Now, we're ready to do a rock step, rock, step, and then come back in, step, step. Now, finally close off with the lunge and, uh, and discontinue the move. You could, you could go continuously, but it'd be a lot of spins for the follow. So we'll show that one more time. Part one, lunge. Part two, get to an end. Part three, bring her in for three counts. One, two, three. Get in your tuck turn position. Use two counts to bring her out again. One, two. And now we're going to do a four count. One, two, three, four. To come back in. And finally, you're done with the lunge. Okay. So this is the out and back turn. We're going to, de we're going to demonstrate that slowly once more. And then we'll try it without stopping. So to this angle, one, two, down, stepping out, one, two, three, four, back in, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, one, two, three, four, and back in. Okay. There's a lot there, but if you really have the, uh, the turn in, so if you can turn in, you can tuck turn and then you can do the tuck turn in again, you should have it. So there's certainly some repeating parts. And also, if you've uh, gotten to know the moves that are preceding this one, it'll be a lot easier. So if the whole set feels a little challenging, go back and just work on the pieces of it, because this move is made up of other sort of equally interesting moves. We'll demonstrate that once at speed, and then talk a little bit about connection. So go one, two, down. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down. So if you've had a chance to look at the previous moves, the tuck turn, the lunge, the send out, you'll know that there's a lot of going there's a lot of connection going on between the lead and follow. Namely that the lead is sending out the follow and that the follow uh, by turning or by simply traveling, she is carrying out that momentum. So by the time that we get to the end, as Dan put it, the follow still has a little bit of residual momentum. If she drops her momentum, the lead has nothing to work with and has to either rock step her or just sort of start from scratch. So really important follow is that you maintain your movement and continue to walk on the path that the lead is asking you to walk on, be it straight or curved or otherwise. Um, I'll make another point, that, which is more for leads. So 
I think the most challenging part of this movement is when the tuck turn happens. You have this follow spinning towards you, and there you are. You have to give her uh, just another push in another direction. What's important for you, gentlemen, is that you give her a push once you feel her weight in that hand. Now, what does that mean? What it means is that she must spin towards you, she must feel straight up, she must feel balanced, and it must feel like she's going to give you a little bit of weight into that hand, so she's pushing in. She's almost ready to do a lunge. Once you feel a certain amount of her weight, you can push off of that. Now, if you push a little early, you might throw her off balance or you might not connect. So it's really important that there's a little bit of waiting for you um, in making all of these moves kind of come together. But, uh, but why don't we show it one more time, and then we'll try it with music. Here's that critical moment where we push, and it comes together. So now let's see that with music. Lord, 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 see, see, right. 